Hi, this is AMVs Are Awesome, also known as Taz, and this is my Q&A video. Thanks for watching. As a lot of you know, this took a long time for me to make. It's mostly due to laziness and meat parts, but I hope I'm not too late and you guys still enjoy it nonetheless. The first comment that I got on my posted Q&A video is from Just a Hug, and just for f future notice, I'm gonna put the little uh, comments down here right below me, so then you can see what I'm talking about and reading from. Just a Hug asked me what were my favorite top 10 editors with under 500 subs, which I will post on the sides right here because I don't want to list them all and I want to find them later so I'm not prepared for this I'm just doing this here I need to stop pointing my fingers like this um Queen asked me what program I use I use Sony Vegas let me check real quick 11 I use 11 uh, I did start out at 8 I think and I can never get into the other program uh, Final Cut, I think, or Adobe, or whatever that other one is called. I tried it when I was trying to get a full version of something, because I was gone for a couple months because I couldn't get a full version of anything. Um, and I got it, and it wouldn't render anything, and it wouldn't cut the clips, and it was just this really weird and confusing program for me, at least. I know a lot of people are good at it, and I am jealous of all of you, because I see how many cool effects you guys can do, but it's just not the program for me, although I do like the effects in it. I just can't. I'm not that complex. Queen's second question was, why did I get into editing? I, I got into editing by AMVs. It was a specific AMV, which I'll put a link either in the video or down in the description. Um, it's a little weird. Um, it's one of those big AMVs. Um, I figured out how to do it, and I really... It was after that AMV that I saw. It's called Empty Motion. If you guys have seen it, that's what's got me into it. Um, and I just started experimenting. I mean but it was one of my first AMVs, full AMVs, and it's all Naruto openings and endings and stuff. And uh, it was one of my favorite bands called Creed. But that's what got me into editing, just watching other people do it and wanting to try it out myself and finding it was fun and then just doing it for fun or laziness and procrastination for my homework. So that's what I did. Then Queen's final question is, what do you like about editing? In the beginning, it was fun, and it was just a way to have fun, it was like a hobby. But later, going into my life, several of you know, I went through a year in my life when I was 13, 14, where it was really tough, and I lost one of my closest family members and it was just sort of this ongoing thing and uh, editing and watching anime was my way to get away from it and forget about it for a while and it's one of the most purest art forms I've ever seen and I don't think a lot of people realize that it's showing who you are through another medium in its purest form I think is what I'm trying to say and you could do so much with it. It's really a cool thing. But thank you, Queen, for that question. It really made me think. Third question that I got was from Pat. I love you, Pat. Her first question, right here, was what genre of music do I listen to the most or what type of music do I like the most? The genre of music I like most would probably be rock. Although I have been getting into K-pop and stuff like that, but rock, soft rock, I like the oldies, but I do like the new stuff. Um, while editing, I like dubstep and K-pop the best because it just gets the ideas flowing. Uh, but everyday stuff, I would say rock. I like 
I like rock the most. It's my comfy place because I used to be goth. Her second question for me was if I have any hidden talents. Um, I'm an artist, I guess. Um, my family is an artist. That's a hidden talent of my family. I could do. I could do hand puppets. If you guys can see that. Hello. It's a frog with the eyes. Anyway, yeah, I'm being stupid now. Um, something a lot of you guys don't know. I know Tasha knows because I've Skyped with her while baking, but I am a very good cook if I know how to cook it because I'm very picky, so I only make what I like. My favorite thing to cook would probably be desserts and stuff, which, by the way, last time when I tried this out, when I tried to do this talk with you guys, I uh, had donuts. Well, this time I have pie that I made last night. It's peanut butter and chocolate. And I was considering it, I thought, you know what the heck? I. I'm gonna eat pie while I do this and show it to you. So I'm mean. Usually when someone has a birthday in my school or my friend or my family, I usually make a big cake or cupcakes for them. I usually make cupcakes and bring them to school when I was in public school and uh, everyone would love me for it. And that's how I got the grades. Another talent I have is writing. and. That's actually what I want to do when I grow up. I want to be a writer. I'm writing my first book this summer and into next year for my senior project. It's a children's book. I'm illustrating it too, so hooray. Pat's third question was to tell you guys a story about a boy I like or I had a crush on. Um, I need more cake for this. Yeah. Let me tell you my sad story on crushes. So, no matter what people think about me, real life, online, everyone thinks I'm a straightforward person, and I am. And I'm not very girly. And much because I live with boys, I'm very. Ugh, I don't care. But when it comes to guys, I'm really bad at it. I'm very good at hiding my feelings, so um, that's not very good with guys because I like ignore them. But my most recent crush, um, when I first started liking him, we went on the youth mission uh, to make part of the city trail down through our uh, church right by a creek because our church was by a creek. It was this big, huge area that we had to make this dirt path. It was in the middle of summer, it was hot. We were all dying during the mission. We didn't get to stay at home. We didn't get to stay at the church. No, we went camping. But that was the first time that I met him on that trip. And I sort of had a crush on him because he was nice. I didn't know much about him. We went to Six Flags after and it went on liking him for, no joke, two and a half years probably, straight, of liking this one guy. He moved to Seattle. And I only learned that after I was curious where he was because he was gone for so long and I checked his Facebook. He's not single anymore. He found a girlfriend down there. So that was just the longest crush I think I've ever had. A really sad ending. Sorry about that. They asked me, what's my favorite movie besides Pocahontas? Movies in general, my favorites would probably be Nightmare Before Christmas, although it's not my favorite. I'll get to my favorite. I'm counting down here. Crime and Prejudice. My favorite movie of all time would probably be Ever After. Um, I really like it. I really like the wedding theme. I'll leave a link for that too, without the girl crying in the background. What's my favorite book or book series? Probably right now, Game of Thrones. A lot of you know this, but I love Game of Thrones. Like, my favorite band, Disciple, 
or probably Creed. But I really want to get back into editing rock music because that's what I usually did. The next question that I have from you is, who's my biggest inspirations? What really inspires me is just, this is going to sound cheesy, but like life itself. Whenever I can't get inspired by something, I usually go on YouTube and I look for new videos that I haven't seen. Sometimes it's just as simple as getting away from the computer and just walking around. I usually go in my backyard, which I'll show you guys, and I just walk around. I take a break from everything. The next question she has is, do I like Mondays? And yes, I like Mondays. And Owen Rogers, if you've seen that video. Why am I so awesome at everything? I don't know, really. I At first when I was editing and getting online, I wasn't really all that awesome. Practice. Lots of practice. Yeah, that's it. How did I and my YouTube friends meet? Usually through meeps, because you guys know I do a lot of meeps, and uh, I met most of my friends through meeps, or I would comment on their videos every once in a while, and uh, it just got to that, like, Akari, Akari, and Ash were my first people that actually accepted me into a meet, and it was a really big thing for me. And it still is, because I got to meet them through it. But I think it was Ash that I met first, actually. But I did, oh, what's the meet called? Oh, I forget what it's called. It, I'll put a name somewhere here. But it was back when Ash was remanned instead of Dine Trace now. Well, it was remanned, Thunder K, than Dine Trace now. Ash was, I think, the first person that actually allowed me into me. And that was when I started editing Avatar. It was a really big thing for me. I met her through that. I was just constantly joining meeps of different people. Akari, especially, I keep on joining our meeps now because they're so original, I think. And I really like her music choice. We're very relatable, as we've been finding out. But I meet people through meeps, or I met actually Tasha, I think she would comment on my videos all the time and I'd always comment back and we just became friends really easily and it just, it went from that. So it was Ash, Akari, and Tasha were my first friends on YouTube. But most of my friends that I've met now are commenting on my videos or I'm commenting on theirs, joining meeps of theirs, and uh, that's how I make friends. Just talking to people is how I make friends. Black and Red Collide, Maria. Ah. Uh, by the way, before we start all these crazy questions that you put down, um, I am doing your birthday video, and I am so excited for you to see it. I seriously think it's one of my best videos I've ever made. Meat parts, anything. I'm putting so much stuff into this. It's not, I'm putting some masking in it, but it's basically about flow and emotion, and I can't wait for you to see it. Um, I'm doing the full song, so it's taking a long time, and I really want to put thought into it, so I've been doing like five seconds and then stopping for a couple weeks and then doing more, because I really want to put some thought into it and doing it when I'm most inspired. Anyway, on to your questions. What's my all-time favorite anime? It's not necessarily my favorite, but the anime that I've seen the most of and stuck with the most, my first anime, I guess you could call it, is um, Inuyasha. Inuyasha. I don't know. Even if I've seen so many anime now that it looks silly compared to the other ones, it's still like, it has a good place in my heart. I'm gonna list them again because I can't pick a favorite. It probably goes Inuyasha, my first anime. D. Grandman, because I'm obsessed with it. Do the rest of the anime. Probably what I have playing in the background. Hunter Hunter. This is 2011, right here. It's too fantastic for words. It's so good. And it's like a classic that they're remaking, which is exciting because it's it deserves it. Do I play any sports? If laying around on the couch all day on editing and on the computer counts as a sport, yes. But other than that, no. I don't. Although at one point in my life I wanted to be a professional soccer star, which never got anywhere because I was never good at soccer or any sport. So, 
yeah. <laughs> Do I watch The Walking Dead? I did in the beginning, but as soon as I got my hands on the actual comics, because my friend bought the full first compendium, continuum, compendium, and I read that, and I just couldn't take how they were changing it so much from the comic, because the comic was so good. I like the first season and part of the second season, but the characters annoy me too much and I could predict it too easily now. So I would recommend the comics better than the TV show. I like the comic better. Number four, the OTP that outshines all other ships. That's a hard one because I have, I have favorites that come and go, but the two that always stick with me and I've never changed since I started reading fanfics galore on them and Shishonru and Kagome from Inuyasha is like, oh my gosh, one of my favorites. And Sakura and Itachi. I've done Shishonru and Kagome in a meat part before, and Akari agrees with me, it's awesome. But Itachi and Sakura, I want to do one so bad. I'll post, to get you into them, I'll post you guys some of my favorite fanfics that are done with the whole thing um, that you could read about these couples because they truly are my favorite and these are the fanfics that got me into the couple. I'll leave them down below. Number five, am I a Whovian? Do I watch Doctor Who? I don't yet. It's on my list. Don't kill me. I've been meaning to for a long time. I've also wanted to watch Sherlock, the American and the uh, BBC, I think it's called, one. They're both on Netflix. I'm not a Whovian yet, but I do know a bit about Doctor Who just because a lot of my friends are Whovians. I just haven't had the time for it because I do watch, watch a lot of anime. I've been really into manga lately, and editing and summer school and all this other stuff, so. Number six, have I ever watched Vampire Night? Yes, I have. It was one of my early animes. I love it, and I've been trying so dearly to get into the manga. For years now, I've been trying to get into the manga right where the anime stops, but I've always failed, because I've heard the manga is amazing. I like Vampire Night. I do. It's, it's as simple as that. I like it. My favorite character from Avatar, both Korra and Avatar. I'm going to pick one from each. Um, Zuko. I don't think anyone has any other favorite character. Legend of Korra? Probably Noah Tuck. And not- I do like a Mon, like, I call a Mon and Noah Tuck the same person, but I find the Noah Tuck- the Noah Tuck side of him more interesting than the Mon side of him. Mon just sort of is for revenge, for whatever, although it is sad at the end. But I like I like the No Talk character, because I I'm interested to see if they'll reveal how he got through everything after he ran away, if they ever do that. Um, I think it would be cool as like flashbacks or whatever, like Korra, if they're still alive, if she meets them, or if like she had the flashbacks with Aang, if she'll have flashbacks with know it talk. I think that would be a cool dynamic. Or she sees them in the spirit world, that would be absolutely amazing. Even if they're dead. But that would be cool. My favorite show of all time. I can't pick. I answered it. Inuyasha or The Grandman or Hunter x Hunter. Although Attack on Titan is good, I still go with the classics for everything. I don't know why. Do I have any pets? I have five pets. Yes, five pets and a bunch of fishies out in my pond, which I'll show you guys that too at the end of the video. My favorite top five episodes in uh, Legend of Korra and Avatar The Last Airbender. That's a hard one. In no particular order, I'm just gonna think right now. Probably Noah Talks episode, or one they explain the backstory of Amon. The Jet episode, I don't know what number it is or whatever, it's in the first season. And not because of Jet, although I love Jet. But the reason why I like that episode, if anyone edits anything for me, for like a birthday or 
whatever you want to make me feel good. I don't care. But put a scene in that episode in there where Smellerby, I think, is bouncing across the scene from the Sokka. You either mask him out of there or even put Sokka watching him bounce across the screen. That is awesome. Um, and just that episode for that scene. I've wanted to see someone edit with it out of context. Just hilarity for so long and it hasn't happened. So that one, Jet. I like the story episode where they're in Bossy and Sang and they've lost Appa. I forget. It's like the tales of Amashu or something. And a particular one that I like the best out of it, although Momo's is also a soft spot for me too. But um, my favorite episode is Iroh's episode because if you guys haven't noticed, if you go back, who it's dedicated to is Mako. Someone named Mako, which I think is the same reason why they called in Legend of Korra that um, that's why Mako's name Mako is probably after that kid, and I like the connection with that. Although I still don't really like Mako as a character. I don't know why. I don't know why a lot of people hate him. I just, I don't like him for some reason. But I like Iroh's episode. I really like Iroh, by the way. Iroh's song. Awesome. So, I got three. Two more. This is really hard. Um, it's like right after Puppet Master. It's near Puppet Master. Where she dresses up as that idol, I think it. It's where they're in that fish town, and uh, she dresses up as the idol, the lady, in, lady in the water, and my Shyamalan, blah blah blah, whatever. The spirit, the water spirit, the water bending spirit, or whatever. Uh, last one. I know I don't like a lot of core episodes, but that's probably why, because there's not a lot out yet. There's only one season. I'll probably like more in Korra later, but I'm an avatar, baby. My last one, my last favorite, would probably be the Ember Island Players. I remember the name of this episode because I like it so much. I like it not for a lot of... Well, I like the comedy in it. I like Toph being amazed that her character is a guy in a wig, basically. But my favorite part of it is when Zuko realizes what he's... When Zuko and everyone else realizes what exactly he's done to his uncle and how much he regrets it. When it shows the scene of him going to Azula rather than his uncle. So... That's like one of my favorite scenes where he... Even though it's supposed to be comic... Well, in the play it's supposed to be comical or haha we got you. Um, I like his reflection on it that he did something wrong. Which, he does that a lot in the series, but that one was probably the one that made the most impression on me, because everyone else realizes exactly what he's done and what he's been through. And I think it sort of puts them, pulls them together more. And, I don't know, I really like that episode just for that one point. What got me into editing AMVs, um, again, it was watching other people do it and wanting to I got myself, basically. I really was inspired by other people and wanted to see how far I could go with it, which I still think I'm growing with it, so it's exciting to see what I can do in editing. So, Dom, asking me questions. Uh, I answered your question earlier. Inuyasha, the Grimman, Hunter Hunter, right, that's back there. Who inspires me? So I already said what inspires me, which is corny life itself, blah blah blah. But who? I've mentioned it in one or two of my videos before. I think one of the most recent is um, Wanderer's Lullaby. And another one is the father and daughter meet part that I did. At least the Pocahontas one I did. It might have been the other one too. Yeah, I did it for both of them. Who would probably be my dad? That's why most of my stuff is depressing. Is because when I do AMVs where people die or people get hurt or people are going through losing someone, it reminds me of myself and I think it's a lot easier to portray something so painful or something so emotional when you yourself have gone through that and you know 
what the character is going through. So I guess that's probably why I'm good at editing emotional stuff where people die is because I've been through that several times, not only with my dad, but most of my family. No matter how depressing that sounds. This is half the video is gonna be depressing, half of it's gonna be hilarious. The reason why I like doing manga so much, I like editing manga, is because it I like animating life. I like making things look realistic when you animate it. And I like how I get to put emotions in life itself and sort of bring to life something that's not animated and make it to where it looks like. Like. So everyone says editing manga is hard. I agree with you 100%. It is so hard. But once you get into it, you can't stop. It it makes you want to do like every part that you hear like a slow song. Slow songs are easy with manga cuz you don't have to you don't have to mask as much. Maybe I'll do like a rock or dubstep with manga or or attempt that, which would probably be a huge failure, but I don't know. And a lot of the studios that I'm subscribed to edit manga, so it just got me interested in it and wanting to try it out. Forever Real, a lot of people will, if you've seen Supernatural, you'll probably be very surprised, because a lot of people like Dean, but I'm a Sam fan. I'm sorry, don't shoot me, I'm a Sam fan. I don't know why, probably because he's like the hurt little kid, but... I prefer Sam over Dean, believe it or not. I like Sam's main episodes more than Dean's. Is there any particular editing trait I want to improve on? Probably, I think I've just about got masking down. I know what to do with it. I know if it's lagging, I know which one to do, which I'll probably, if you guys have any questions or want me to do, to do a tutorial, Please tell me, I'll put up a tutorial for masking, it's actually very easy if you have the right program. I know how to get rid of the lags, I know, because Korra has especially a lot of lags, even if you go through the normal means, actually going through the clips step by step, there still is a lot of lags, naturally, in how they rendered Korra, which annoys me at times, but I've learned how to get rid of that too, which you'll see in the Rubik's Cube. That meat part, Amon's hand, it has several, like, uh, in the actual video, not just the lagging, it has several half frames. So, like, his hand is see through both frames, and it's very confusing to do it. But I figured out how a way how to fix that, and I know how to do all the stuff, and you guys could ask me any of those questions, and I'll do a tutorial for you on it. It's actually very easy. But something I want to improve on, probably effects using, because I seem to do effects at the very end when I'm done with the rest of the video. It's like something extra that I don't need, but I put in anyway. And also another thing I'd like to improve on is I seem to zoom in too much or too little. Even my slow paced music songs seem a little fast, so maybe I should go back to raw. Uh, like Tasha's old editing. Well, not old, but her raw editing. Raw editing will help me more with the flow aspect of slowing down and not being so drastic with everything is something I'd like to improve on. And then comedy. I want to do a lot of comedy AMVs. I have so many ideas for it. I've showed Tasha a quick clip and I thought of while well, I had my old Pocahontas um, rendition where it's really bad quality. But I want to work on comedy. I'm I've been doing depressing things lately, and I just, I want to work on comedy. Besides Legolas, what's my favorite Lord of the Rings character? I guess it's like a tie between three. One for its personality, the other two because they're really hot. Aragon from the old Lord of the Rings. Oh my gosh. I love Aragon so much. Then from the new Lord of the Rings, Thrindle? Thrindle? Uh, Legolas's father, from what I understand, or the king of the elves or whatever. His eyes get me every single time. He's so cold. I don't know anything about his character besides he's like a total jerk. But his eyes! Just look up Thrindle, 
eyes on Tumblr and you'll be mesmerized for hours. The last one, not because of his looks, but because of his personality and I like how they play him off in the last couple of movies. Mary. Or no, not Mary. Pippin? Oh, but Gollum's good too. I used to be able to do a really good Gollum voice. Okay, Tasha's question. Why is my editing so perf? I mean, just look at the cute thing. What? I don't know, Tasha. Practice? Natural talent? I don't know. Lots of practice. I I used to be not so good if you actually look at my old videos in the beginning of my channel. I wasn't really good at all. Favorite AMV that I've made, someone else has made, and Meep in general, and Meep that I've participated in. Favorite AMV that I've made probably is yours, Tasha. <laughs> Although, I must say it, um, Maria's is probably my new favorite that I'm making for her. Because, oh my gosh, it is so awesome. I can't wait for you guys to see it. I need another bite of cake because I haven't taken it in a long time. Oh, it's in the car. Yeah. An AMV that someone else has made. Oh, the two ones that I'm obsessed with right now. I actually have them on my computer. I downloaded them because I like them so much. Well, I'll post links to them too. But um, creating something beautiful. Well, three of them are called that. There's three different types. It's all with the same song, but they're all absolutely gorgeous. Or no, there's four of them. Excuse me. One of them is Disney. One of them is Avatar and uh, Legend of Korra. One of them is an anime mix. And then another one is something else. I forget what it is. Those four, it's by the same song, but they're, they're with the same theme, but they're a must watch. They're one of my favorites um, AMVs. And then one that I became particularly obsessed to uh, lately, which I subscribed to the editor and I've been commenting on her videos. She's an amazing editor. You should put her in editor of the week, Tasha. Is uh, Fidelity. It's won all these awards. It was made this year, I'm pretty sure. And I'll put the link to the editor and the video and everything. And uh, it's, it's a movie, I think, because I haven't seen it, which really impacted me because if you're a good editor, if you're truly a good editor, you could make an AMV from something that uh, the viewer hasn't watched before and make them cry. <laughs> and it seriously makes me teary-eyed. The first time I watched it, I cried so much. They seriously are an amazing editor. You seriously should do it for Editor of the Week, Tasha. She is so good. Meep that I've joined, you're a breathe meep. Meep in general? Probably Ultra Beat Studios. They don't make a lot, although I do like Fidelity Studios and Angelic Sinadre, Serenade, I say Sinadre for some reason. Angelic Serenade, the Ultra Beats I recently discovered. Um, are absolutely amazing. They don't make a lot of meeps, sort of like Fidelity didn't. Their meeps are top notch. Like, it's insane. Either several meeps from all three of those studios. Those are probably my top three. Ultra Beat probably being the best because their styles blend in so well with each other. I believe it was either with you when we watched Game of Thrones. The premiere of season three, me and Tasha watched it together. I had the webcam turned around. Or Dom, which was one of my first Skype calls ever. It was, I think it was my second or third Skype call that I've ever been on. Uh, Dom, talking with him six or seven hours, I think, straight. With you, Tasha, it might have been the same. It might have been four. I can't recall exactly, but I know from what I remember, definitely six or seven hours was Dom. I think Ash was with us for like an hour or two, and then when I met Dom, and then we just kept on talking. It was insane. <laughs> Impersonate five Game of Thrones character. I completely forgot about this one. And I'll probably look really silly through this, so I'll probably put like a really big sticker mask on my head. 
You know nothing, Jon Snow. Or in the scene where Sansa gets slapped. Or whatever, she's like... Phew, phew. That's an impression, I think, is... Phew. How long do I have to look? As long as it pleases me. What do we say to the God of Death? Not today. Um... Sorry, my brother just came home, so I'm outside now. Fantasy Reader asked me what my favorite animated edit with is. The one I edit with most, like most of you guys know, is uh, Avatar, but I really do like editing with... I like editing with D. Grannon and Inuyasha the most, probably. I'm most comfortable working with Avatar, I guess, out of the, everything. I'd like to work more with manga and anime, which I'm trying to. What's my favorite effect transition? Transition and effects, I usually use what's in Vegas if I don't add any effects, especially with Maria's Black and Red Collides video. It's basically just zooms and uh, black and white. I've been getting more comfortable and what I've used uh, bump map a lot for effects. But my editing nowadays consists of zooms and black and whites. Marie asked me if I can name all the anime or manga I've ever watched. And the answer, sadly, is no. So by now, it would probably be... Part of me feels really accomplished for that, and part of me feels very scared by that one thought. That's the pond with our fish down there. I think originally there was like 24 of them, but the first couple weeks we got them, a bunch of them kept on dying, so um, we're down to like maybe 12, maybe a little bit higher, maybe a little lower. Um, this is Mocha and Mary. This one is Mary, right here. This is Mary. And they're both boys, believe it or not. They're brothers. And this is Mocha. This is cat number three. This is... Chloe. A lot of you guys liked her the best on the live stream along with Daisy, which I'll show you in a bit. But Chloe is about a year old, maybe a little bit more. She <laughs> is my mom's cat. My mom's never really had never really had a pet. And uh this is my mom's cat. <laughs> Chloe doesn't really like me <laughs> all that much. I think she's pretty, but I don't like her and she doesn't like me all that much, which is why she's a meaning away from me. Chloe actually has extra toes, if you can see that, on her front two paws. Or they're actual toes. Oh, I know. So she has, like, thumbs. Last two. Here's the last two animals we have. This is Daisy. That's my dog. And, uh, I got Daisy when I was in fourth or fifth grade uh, during a summer and she's a long-haired miniature dachshund meaning she's a wiener dog this is Frankie um he's my brother's dog he's an old man that was my Q&A and I hope you guys enjoyed so bye